Elizabeth Banks says she messed up and is very sorry. The actress posted a lengthy apology on Thursday, directed at Steven Spielberg and anyone offended by the comments she made at the Women in Film's Crystal and Lucy Awards on Tuesday, where she claimed Spielberg had never directed a film featuring a female lead. During her acceptance speech for the Crystal Award for Excellence in Film, Banks said, I went to Indiana Jones and Jaws and every movie Steven Spielberg ever made, and by the way, he's never made a movie with a female lead. Sorry, Steven, I don't mean to call your ass out, but it's true. The attack caused a wave of oohs in the audience, and one guest attempted to correct Banks, yelling out the color purple. Banks was quick to admit she was wrong, only to second-guess that person and say, um, he directed? He did, but another attendee claimed he didn't, so Banks replied, oh, so I'm right still. On Thursday, Banks took to Twitter to apologize for the mistake. She wrote, I framed my comments inaccurately. I want to be clear from the start that I take full responsibility for what I said and I'm sorry. When I made the comments, I was thinking of recent films Steven directed. It was not my intention to dismiss the importance of the iconic The Color Purple. The actress, who was directed by Spielberg in the 2002 film Catch Me If You Can, added, I made things worse by giving the impression that I was dismissing Sherry Belafonte when she attempted to correct me. I spoke with Sherry backstage and she was kind enough to forgive me. The Hollywood Reporter has reached out to Spielberg for comment, but his rep said the filmmaker could not be reached as he is currently shooting his latest project, The Papers. That film coincidentally stars Meryl Streep in a lead role. Spielberg's most recent directorial outing, The BFG, also stars an actress in the lead role, 12-year-old Ruby Barnhill. He also directed The Sugarland Express with Goldie Hawn, among others. Banks' mistake may have overshadowed the parts of her speech meant to bring the industry together. I'm so proud that I get to raise my two boys to love women. I get to present an example to them of a working mom who loves what she does. We are sending messages out to the world and those messages matter. Co-opting men and boys into that process is the only way that progress is going to happen. We can't do it by ourselves. We need dudes. We need the guys. For more on this story and Banks' full apology, head to THR.com. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.